20 guys so this is going to be a three-part video update where i'm going to talk about my hair my health as well as shopping hauls the first thing i want to talk about is the health of my hair and how i've been doing this past month today is february the first so we are a month into the new year yay we've made it <laughs> and i just wanted to check in uh, first on my hair goals how i only had three pretty much simple goals and they were they were um no manipulation like a lot of heavy manipulation on my hair that will put tension on my scalp or my hair in general so no more elastic bands um, I said that instead of the elastic bands if I wanted to do a puff I would do something like you know a silk scarf like I have the little silk headband type scarves and I've actually been doing that um, I've been twisting my hair I'm still following my routine for my wash day so I've been doing twists um, and plaits on my hair whether it's flat flat um, strand twist or two strand twist so I have not been doing any type of braiding on my hair at all I have not like I said I've been doing any type of elastic so that part keeping up with the second one was no new products um, even though I do not buy a lot of products um, towards the end part of last year I was starting to become a product junkie so I did not want to pick up that habit plus I want to also be able to see what products are really working for my hair without trying a whole bunch of new products you know I pretty much figured like some of the key things that really work on my hair so I have not <laughs> I've been passing those product owls in the store you know that are geared towards us and I have not purchased any type of new product lastly it was no heat which I have been doing no heat pretty much since I started this journey back in 2013 um, and I have just decided to you know just keep going with the no heat going forward into February for my um, hair care I'm just gonna continue doing you know everything the same oh in February I probably will do a trim on my hair again um, um, I'll probably trim off my trim off some ends because I did notice that now my ends are looking um, some of them are just looking a little straggly you know I haven't had a trim in a while so, so I figured this section of the video will not be complete unless I actually show you what my hair looks like underneath <laughs> um, I just want to reiterate that for the past probably um, six or seven years probably a lot longer um, I've been the primary person who has relaxed my hair when it was relaxed and kept my hair up when it was natural I have gone into hair salons when I was more so relaxed I kind of went in a little bit more regularly uh, probably like in my regularly would be like six months <laughs> nine months or a year whatever to get my hair trimmed or get my hair cut usually cut because um, I usually do the trimming myself so like I said going into February I do want to trim my hair myself I usually go in and go through each section um, and trim off ends that way if you're going through each section trimming your hair you know that you are hitting and cutting where you're supposed to be and you're not just randomly going through and cutting your hair so this is what my hair looks like and I want to also add that you know I've only had maybe two pretty much bad experiences um, since you know I've been the primary person taking care of my hair I wanted to get color put in and I got some blonde streaks and anyway from there I got the blowout and my hair suffered it luckily it was only the blonde streaks that broke off In this picture here, I was about six to nine months post relaxer transitioning out of the relaxer and I was beginning to think about, you know, loving my hair and I got these kinky twists put in uh, around August of 2010 and I was loving the color that was added into the hair so I decided that I wanted to go ahead and dye my hair so I went and got the blonde put in um, and I was trying to decide whether or not I really felt those blonde highlights or not. And I was you know trying to get used to it but because my hair texture was 80% natural um, my hair especially where the color treated part 
was really starting to break off and then I wasn't feeling the blonde so I tried to cover it up with the burgundy red color there and as you see it looked really blotchy and a hot diggity mess <laughs> and um so that I was like that was like a washout type of color and then I end up going back and just kind of like going to a semi-permanent brown or something somewhere along this here and then by the time my birthday came around I was cutting my hair cutting it still flat ironing it <laughs> um, using a lot of heat John Frieda was my best friend and here for this Daniel Jones concert as you can see I was pretty much natural in that picture because I had cut all the perm out and there again my hair was 100% natural I didn't have any type of heat going on in it but I was still using heat every now and then especially during the week when I went to work this is a picture from Puerto Rico I was wearing my hair out natural there and trying to really embrace my natural <laughs> hair but by the time the summertime came guys I just ended up going back to the relaxer and I decided that you know what my time August of that year came this was August Decided that I was going to return back to natural and then the second time that I had the same type of experience was when I was transitioning again and I'm not quite for sure what was going on with just one particular patch of my hair that was on this side of my head but I had a huge chunk of section that had broken off like right to the line where my natural hair demarcation line or where my natural hair and my relaxed hair met it just broke off and I would be combing my hair and just hair just coming out in the comb it would be so much hair on my pillow so much hair when I was combing my hair in the bathroom and that's when I was like that's it no more relaxers I'm going natural and ever since then my hair has been healthy and happy <laughs> um even through the color I put in my hair this past summer because every week I wash my hair, I deep condition my hair. Um, also, I have not ever had any problems with my edges um, because I've never been the type of person to manipulate my hairline anyway. Um, so that's why I think, you know, for me and myself, the way that I do my hair, I am comfortable with cutting my hair. I'm comfortable with doing my hair. I'm comfortable with the styles that I choose to wear. Um, they really help me, you know, number one, like I said, I like to showcase my hair and number two, um, my hair is still being healthy in the process. So I think I've been doing something right. So this was last night. I wore my hair out in a fro yesterday. And I just did some quick twists, nothing, you know, special. Some of it is flat strand back there. I got flat strands going on. I got two strands going on up here and I did Bantu knots on the end. I didn't, you know, go and do lovely Bantu knots. I just <laughs> pretty much rolled the hair around until it, you know, stayed. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't do this every single night, you know, I don't do it every single night. Found like my favorite combs that I actually love. I also um, purchased a boar bristle brush to help get some of my natural oils um, down the shaft of my hair. I'm not using this brush a whole lot to, you know, brush out my hair and all this kind of stuff. It's only purpose is to help get the oils down to the ends of my hair. And also what something else I've been doing is I have started separating my hair differently, especially in the crown of my head. I started to um, put more hair from the crown going towards the front. So as you see, I started to comb this hair more to the front than to the back because because since the crown of my head is such the nightmare that it is and it's so compacted there and we know for four C's that the hair does like to tangle to itself right it likes to tangle up on itself and in that section it really tangles up the most on itself but this section back here actually doesn't tangle that bad it's only a small little portion that section here that tangles but if I let this section try to show you guys if I let this section and this section if I comb that back 
it's a world of a mess back there so i don't even let it um <laughs> hang out together anymore so i'm always trying to part it a different way comb it a different way just so it's not interlocking back with the hair back there so